Say you have a family member who's struggling with addiction. In Florida, you could use what's called the Marchman Act to get them into involuntary treatment. The problem is that in the middle of an opioid crisis, there are not enough beds for everyone who needs help. So people with substance use disorder end up sitting in jail for a couple of days and then often get released without the rehabilitation they need. And every day that goes by that a person struggling with addiction doesn't get treatment, they're at risk of overdosing. A Pinellas County Sheriff came to my home and I asked him if this was about Jennifer and he said yes. And I said, is it bad? And he said, yes. And I said, is she dead? And he said, yes, she's dead. Sharon Blair's daughter was 29 when she died of an overdose. The first time she tried opioids, she was 12. Yes, she had surgery for scoliosis and she was given opiate pain medication to manage her pain. That was the first time she learned what opiate pain medication can do. Once Sharon found out Jennifer was addicted, she tried to get her into treatment through the Marchman Act. And that's the thing I kept hearing over and over again was there's no beds available. She begged the judge to court order Jennifer into treatment, but after getting arrested, her mom says she would always get released without rehabilitation. My fear was death, always always death. The Pinellas County Sheriff says when his deputies get called to a scene where someone is intoxicated, they don't have where to take them. What do we do with them? Is so we take them to the jail and as soon as they sober up, uh, we push them right out the back door and they go right back on the street and they're doing the same thing over and over again because nothing's being done to break the cycle. The Sheriff's Department takes in an average of 1,000 people a year under Marchman, but there are only 20 beds in Pinellas County for long-term residential treatment. It's very frustrating. After jail, some do get an opportunity to detox, but that's not the same as rehabilitation. Someone leaving our facility after 21 days, are they more stable? Yes. Um, are they going to be successful if we send them out the door at that point? No. They really need longer treatment and uh, we don't have enough beds to do that for everybody. Anybody uh, can be affected by this. Addiction is uh, a mental health issue. Uh, it is a medical issue. Uh, but for the grace of God, there go you. And it costs $126 a day to house people in the Pinellas County Jail. And again, the Sheriff's Department arrests an average of 1,000 people a year under the Marchman Act.